Hey, thanks for checking out the videos. I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. Okay, 2022 is in the books. I ended up racing quite a few different disciplines from XC, endurance events, downhill, and enduro. Towards the end of the season, I wasn't really sure what I would do in 2023. And quite frankly, I wasn't really sure that I was gonna race downhill anymore. I had gotten hurt pretty bad at the end of 2021 up at Windrock and it really knocked the wind out of my sails and took me quite a while to come back. I ended up actually racing an XC race and flipped over the handlebars, probably gave myself a slight concussion and it was that was the way that I started the downhill race season in 2022 and I remember being at nationals and I actually only did four laps. It was a crazy time. There was this big, huge snowstorm. Uh, I was nervous. I couldn't even drop off of even just the smallest little drops. And so throughout the season, things did get better. By the time I got to snowshoe, after doing lap after lap after lap, I started to loosen up and find my groove. But it was still lingering in the back of my mind what had happened. And so as I got towards the end of the race season, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do this anymore, but a few things did happen. I ended up going out to California. I ended up going to Whistler. And then we had this test event up at Ride Rock Creek, which is a new bike park. And I felt really good on the bike. Uh, it's probably all the time at Whistler and different bike parks after the race season, but I started to just feel really, really good. And so that really kind of just pushed me into this place where, okay, if I'm going to race again, I am going to uh, have to really want to do it. I'm gonna have to physically uh, be in a good place and I'm going to have to have a killer bike and so this is where this video comes into play I ended up buying a Commissal Supreme the version 4 during a Black Friday sale in November uh, got a pretty good discount on it and this is me building the bike up so I ride wrapped it I ended up switching the coil out um, I think it came with a 434. I ended up going to a 525. Uh, it came with some nice uh, four piston XT brakes, but I've really enjoyed the Shimano Saints. So I put some Shimano Saints on it. Um, I ended up uh, switching the tires as well that came on it. Uh, I've, I've come to kind of, I think like all of us, we sort of gravitate towards what we, what we know, what's worked for us. And so I put Kush core in, uh, I ended up running a, my DHR two in the back and then a ASA guy in the front, both double down casing with the, uh, max grip. Uh, I've really enjoyed these Shimano Saint pedals and then it was time to take the bike out for a ride. So luckily here in Tallahassee, I do live in Florida, so there aren't a lot of opportunities to ride a downhill bike, but we actually have a kind of free ride area that used to have a lot of big dirt jumps in it, and there's still quite a bit of uh, places that you can find, you know, just a way to, to kind of cut in some test tracks. So this is me and Steven, luckily he was home over the holidays and we just ran laps on some of the areas that Steven actually used to train on. And so it was good just to break the bike in. So I'm excited about this bike. Um, it is my first brand new downhill bike. And you know, I'll leave uh, links and descriptions of everything that I did to the bike uh, in the comments, but in a nutshell, it's a Commensal or Commissal Supreme. It's a 2022. It's the Olin's edition. So it's got the DH38 air fork on it. It's got the TTX TTM shock. Uh, like I said, I switched the coil out. I ended up getting two other coils, a 548 and a 571. We'll see which one 
I think I'll end up riding uh, various coils depending on the conditions. So I've got everything from soft, medium to really stiff. It came with a nice set of DT Swiss rims, the FR560s. It's got the DT Swiss hubs. It did come with, uh, they're nice tires, but I swapped those out to the Asagai and the DHR2. I do plan to get a second set of wheels and have them as my wood wheels with the uh, Maxxis shorties on it. But thanks for checking out the video. I just wanted to share about the bike and uh, look forward to posting some training videos soon and the race season will be here before we know it. Take care.